Welcome back. Now I'm going to do a problem called the electric flux of a point charge through an area. This is going to be very similar to the video that I just did. We found the power of a sound wave going through an area of a point sound, sound wave. This is also going to be similar to that. The electric flux of a point charge going through an area, right? So this integral and the setup are going to be very similar. So the concept is if you have a point charge, it has an electrical field a certain distance away, right? And then the electric field is given by the equation KQ divided by the total distance. So if we call this um, D and we call this R, the electric field is going to be, uh, this is square root of D squared plus uh, R squared. So this is going to be uh, divided by D squared plus R squared, right? So the electrical field at any point of that area is going to be KQ over D squared plus R squared, right? Now the electric flux is defined by, it's a scalar, right? It's defined by E A cosine of theta, right? So it's the dot product between the uh, electric field and the area. Well, the same thing that we did for the power of a sound wave, we said the power of a sound wave is equal to the intensity of the sound wave times the uh, area A times cosine of the angle, so we took the x component. But really, in a sense, we didn't take the x component, we took the dot product of the intensity and the area, and that gave us the, the, the amount of power going through the area. So electrical flux is the same concept, it's the amount of flux going through the area, so even though there's a cosine in it, that doesn't mean that it's actually a vector, right? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a ring like this again, we're going to take a ring, the electrical field is going this way, and the surface area is going this way, right, dA. So we take, we say E dA cosine of the angle, right, like that. So this is theta. So then the electric flux is going to be E dA cosine of the theta. So then the electric flux is going to be, the electric field is KQ over D squared plus R squared. And then the dA is 2 pi r dr, right? And then the cosine theta is going to be the d divided by square root of d divided by square root of d squared plus r squared, right? So then we can factor out everything. This is the electrical flux going through a certain, a certain ring within the plate, right? So then we can say here k q, okay, over uh, d squared plus r squared to the 3 halves power. Okay, then we have here uh, 2 pi r dr times d. Okay, then uh, take everything out of the integral that doesn't need to be integrated, right? So then integrate this. The electrical flux is going to be 2 pi kq. Okay, Q, then the D comes out, then we have here integral R dr over D squared plus R squared to the 3 halves power, okay? Then we integrate this from 0 to R, okay? We could also similarly, like the sound wave, instead of a plate, if it was a ring, right, with inner radius R1 and outer radius R2, then we can integrate from the inner radius R1 to the outer radius R2, okay? So let's do that as in general, from inner radius to outer radius, then we can say, well, what would happen to a plate, right? So then that would be the most general answer. Okay, so the electrical flux is gonna be two pi k q d, Okay, so then we can do the substitution again. Let u equal uh, d squared plus r squared, and then du is going to be 2r dr. So then this is going to be here uh, du over 2, and then this is going to be u to the uh, uh, 3 halves, so then it's going to be u to the minus 3 halves, right? So then when you integrate this, you're going to get 2 pi k q, okay? Then you're going to get D, then you're going to get here uh, U to the minus half over minus half times 2, and the 2's cancel, right? So then uh, you're going to end up with 2 pi K Q D, uh, 1 over negative, and then uh, U it becomes 
d squared plus r squared to the one half. And then the limits of the integral r1 to r2. Okay? So then this will give you the total electrical flux of a point charge going through a, a, a ring of inner radius r1 and outer radius of, of r2. Okay? So then this is 2 pi k q d. Okay, so then we put the, we can change the order of the integral, have the r1 over there, and then have the r2 down here. So have the inner radius first, put the inner radius first, then the outer radius. So then you have here 1 over d squared plus r1 squared, square root, minus 1 over the outer radius, r2 squared plus d squared, square root. Okay? So then that would be the general answer of the electrical flux of a point charge through a ring, right? Now, if the, if the ring is a plate and the inner radius is zero, right? If R1 equals zero, then this becomes zero and then this just becomes one over D, right? So then th when this is zero, this just becomes one over D minus one over R2 squared plus D squared to the one half. And then instead of writing R2 squared, we're just going to have R squared because the plate doesn't have an inner and outer radius. It just has one radius, right? So it just has R squared here. And then you can distribute the D in. When this D distributes in, it cancels this, and then you end up with a D on the top. So D, and then this just becomes one, and then you get rid of this D, okay? So this becomes the electrical flux of a point charge going through a plate a distance d away, right? So then we can uh, find out what the answer is for a particular value of q. So let's say q was equal to 2 nanocoulombs, and then the, let's say the distance d was 2 meters. So then what would happen? Okay, so let's say we were also dealing with a, a plate. The plate had a, a radius of a radius of one meter, okay? So then what would happen? The electrical flux will be two pi nine times 10 to the ninth, and then the Q will be two times 10 to the minus nine, and then one minus, and then D will be two meters divided by, okay? And then the R is gonna be one, so one squared plus two squared, and then square root. So that's gonna be what? One minus two over, uh, that'll be square root of 5, okay? And then the 10 to the minus 9 and the 10 to the 9 will cancel. So let's multiply all of that out, okay? And then the units of electrical flux are Newton per Coulomb times meter squared, okay? So that's going to be the electrical flux going through that plate, okay? So uh, you can see here how to calculate it. And if it's a ring, you can put the inner radius and outer radius and then use the general equation for the ring. Okay. okay, so now you know how to do the electrical flux of a point charge through a, a ring and a plate, and then you can compare with how I did with the sound intensity and the sound power going through a plate, and you can see that it's actually the same setup and the same way to do it. Thank you very much.